when Shelby was impersonating Fat and it was like, I'm a Virgo oh, sun, Pisces moon. moon. So y'all can we'll get to it, but Shelby's definitely going to get that wrong. So, Wild's Heads, calm down. She's a Scorpio. What's up, everybody? I'm Julia Loken. I'm Stevie Anderson. And I'm Lisa Chanu. And we're What's Your Sign, an astrology podcast for lovers and haters. Today, we're going to be breaking down the wilds, talking about all the astrology of the show. So flip a tarot card, charge your crystals, and get ready to get wild. This is In the Stars with What's Your Sign. We're going to be breaking down some of your favorite characters from the wild and all of the astrology all about them. So we're going to look at Fatten, Leah, and our faves, Shoni, Tony, and Shelby. We could talk about everyone's astrology because we love these girls. Unfortunately, there's only time for three. If you want to hear more, sound off in the comments. First, let's start with Fatten because... She That's the way too, she would too, want it. <laughs> <laughs> she's too Scorpio for her own good. Maybe too Scorpio to function. And uh, at, anytime Fatten's on the screen, it is just like you just see little scorpions crawling all over. It's just like Scorpio energy coming through. I had the same exact... Um, first thought where I was like this is so Scorpio she has to drink the most and never have I ever she's like the most sexually evolved she has rich parents not that all Scorpios would have rich parents but just that kind of trope of other people's money I also think she just has such an extensive and deep knowledge of the cello which is music is such a watery thing but when I saw the graphic tees I wasn't sure if a Scorpio would wear those. So I went Scorpio with Leo Moon. Let me know what you guys think. The graphic tees is a good point because I think graphic tees aren't talked enough in our society at large. And it's almost very Regina George Mean Girls with like, I'm not, you know, more issues than Vogue. And it's like saying who you are and also baiting in people to think you're basic, even though you're just a saucy ass Scorpio that is infiltrating society. And like, yeah, you thought I was just basic, but I play the cello I do all these things and I'm gonna win every argument that is coming my way she's so Scorpio so watery so stylish mm, fatten chef's kiss on fatten you know I too was thrown off the scent a little bit with the graphic tees you know thinking oh would a Scorpio be this presentational but I think absolutely that's exactly what a Scorpio would want you to think you know with Scorpio it's always about what's going on under the surface so I think it's a little bit of a defensive thing to kind of throw you off the scent of how deep she is and also you know Scorpios are always playing defense they don't you know attack they're they only respond and I think that wearing these shirts is also a kind of way of like making the joke before you you can where she's like I know I'm basic who cares and you're gonna be feeling like a fool when you judge this book by its cover because I am not just basic I am also a cello savant and super honest and cool uh, I kind of thought Leo or Taurus um, because Scorpio gets all of the sex shine but they're not the only you know sexy sign in the zodiac uh, but once I saw her all up in everybody's business I was like that is for sure a Scorpio and another telltale sign is the fact that she's just always reading people whether she you know she says it's unintentional but I have a Scorpio Mercury too and when she said to Leah like oh this was just a casual observation I figured you already thought about it I was like that is for sure some Scorpio behavior mm. I think the thing that got me there was when she's reading that copy of Leah's book that's annotated that's clearly private and she's Ugh. going through it and then she's also giving advice on UTI medication at the same time <laughs> I'm like okay you're Scorpio you're like all my Scorpio best friends all the things I love about Scorpio also some of the things I definitely don't <laughs> <laughs> but also, you know, super honest, super loyal, is looking out for people in a real way. She's not going to be nice about it, but she is, you know, a good friend, I think, which is very Scorpio to me. They're not going to be gentle necessarily, but they, they, they're, they've got you where it counts. Mm. Who else is going to handle their dad's d pick besides Scorpio? <laughs> Talk about other people's stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Mommy lost a few real estate deals on that one. <laughs> she straight up turned on him as soon as he just violated that family trust. He, She turned yep. on him. The loyalty. Like, mm -hmm. Loyalty, but also, like, don't cross the line. You know, we might we might not agree on some of the other characters, but I think we are all in agreement that there's no doubt about it. Fatten is a Scorpio, 100%. 
now that we're in agreement, uh, let's talk about Leah, shall we? Yes. So since we have Leah's birthday, we know she is a Virgo, which I wasn't sold on, but then I came around because I think that she is pretty like flexible. Virgo is mutable earth. And so that's, you know, wants to change, but also wants to change to get things done. And Leah definitely can change to get what she wants in a situation. You know, she decides that she has a crush on Jeffrey. And then when the opportunity presents itself to, for her to give him a ride home, she takes it. She knows that she has to change a little bit, you know, fudge the truth a little bit to get what she wants. She, I also like that she kind of is realistic though, too. Like she gives that example of, you know, wanting to impress a guy who was a surfer who loved the Smith. So she was like, oh, I love them too. But then she also kind of tells on herself by saying, yeah, I took two lessons and I spent a weekend listening to them. So she's not outright lying. She is, you know, making the material circumstances change a little bit to fit her needs. And that's very Virgo to me. I think that the minute in episode one where she said that she drinks regular milk, I immediately was like, this is an earth sign. I feel like that is such an earthy <laughs> thing to like want to drink something that's like coming straight from an animal. Um, she also talks about kind of having these dark, violent moods and tendencies, which I think we sometimes place with water or fire signs. But I just think knowing that you have those tendencies is so Virgo. Um, she's literally a virgin in the beginning of the show, um, which Virgo's <laughs> represented by the virgin. And also, you know, she kind of has that gut instinct stuff when she starts to think something's going wrong. And she kind of gets it wrong about, you know, how or what's amiss with Shelby finding the bags and all that stuff. But she has that kind of just gut instinct of like this something set up here. Ooh, I love this gut instinct take because we talk about this on our podcast all the time about Virgos. They're ruled by the gut. Each sign has different body parts that they rule over and Virgos are the gut. It's the digestive system. So they know a lot of the time. So yes, Virgos, you're right. You know, you have that feeling. But since Virgos are also ruled by Mercury, they are earth signs. They're very practical. They're very communicative and they want to know the facts. So sometimes knowing the facts versus trusting your gut can be a conflict. It's like the head versus heart. And that is Leah to the nines. I do think too, she is so like emotionally rooted. She feels, I, I'm going to guess that Mars, so this planet of action and taking is in Pisces. And that would really check out for her too, because that's going to be opposite her son. Virgo and Pisces are sister signs. They're in polarity from each other. And I think she has that practical in her head gut feeling thing of a Virgo but then also is really moved by her emotions and really moved by her feelings I think you're dead on with the water Mars too I think there's so much water there we see her that you know we see her diving we see her doing kind of water stuff and she just has all that emotional pent up like teenage mm -hmm. which we've all felt you know oh. just like mourning and like all, just everything swept away she's just like swept away in this relationship and it's relatable content <laughs> when you're like just destroyed well, by love i love that idea too of them being in opposition because it is really like one or the other she is either thinking or she's feeling and it seems like when she's using one the other one is kind of out the window but also virgo can be pretty uh, Virgo energy is mercurial and still kind of like neurotic too and I think she really does even though her gut is right she's overthinking a lot to the point where it's like that you know the simplest answer is usually the the correct one and she really spins her head in a way that I feel like people don't take her as seriously as they should because she's right there is something going on and she does clock it every single time so there mm -hmm. is that practical knowledge there like I said, we do have her birthday. You know, she gives it up so we can't really debate on it. But I think we all are in agreement too, that she does exhibit pretty classic Virgo tendencies. Right? I don't know mm -hmm. if she gives it up. <laughs> Someone else dug and found it. But yes, she's definitely <laughs> Virgo. That's true. <laughs> I think next we can move on to the Shoney ship, Tony and Shelby. Ooh. I find them to be such a polarity. They're two sides of the same coin if you will they kind of have this hate each other until they love each other relationship which I think is really evident in all different polarities in astrology uh, we kind of think she's Shelby's a Libra and Tony's an Aries what do you guys think? Are you an Aries? What? Who the fuck cares? God! Couldn't agree 
more you know competitive with tony competitive quick tempered me against the world attitude that my friends is an aries she is really uh confrontational too which is great it's better on the basketball court than it is in relationships you know but i think that she really embodies all of that aries aggression and directness which is awesome she also is so like direct in her communication she even says like don't say any of that surface level stuff give me the real thing and i love that she clearly you know has lived a tough life too which has made her a big a fighter which aries is totally a fighter and with good reason you know she hasn't had the ability to play it nice in her life which is also why i think she is so irked by shelby who is so libra is all about playing it nice and about you know being polite breaking the ice in a gentle way like never have i ever is too much for her it's so libra to me this kind of <laughs> dainty daintiness um but i think that they both kind of see in each other the thing that they wish that they could be i think shelby would love to be as confrontational as tony and speak honestly and be able to like show her teeth to the world both literally and metaphorically and in tony she sees someone who is so unabashed and honest and she wishes she could be that way and of course tony you know sees this girl who's had the opportunity to be a literal beauty queen and it's like come on but they both want the same thing to connect to love to to be accepted and i think that's so much the libra aries polarity yeah i think shelby is just classic libra action she's so diplomatic even when she says stuff that people don't like her for they still sort of like her at the end of the day which feels very libra where it's just wanting to keep the peace. It's the scales, right? So she's a little helper that comes in. She's a pageant girl, for God's sakes. So Shelby really brings that Cardinal Venus where Tony's bringing that Cardinal Mars. And Cardinal signs are action-oriented. They're both doers. Mars is all about drive and passion, which Tony clearly has, even if it's sometimes uh, off base a little bit. And then Shelby has that Venus, capital V, values. So when you mix Mars energy and Venus energy, it can be explosive. And for these two, uh, yeah, I mean, Shoney, Shoney be popping. All aboard the Shoney ship, baby. Anchors away. I love it. <laughs> toot toot. Pop toot toot I, beep beep. <laughs> I think that just the fact that she hides that she has fake teeth is so Libra. She cares so much about the aesthetic, the look, the pageantry of it all. She's also trying for the most part to make everyone get along, which is so Libra. She cares about the relationships between people, which is the Libra. And then it is Tony and Aries. Like she threw her own piss at someone. So <laughs> yes, she is an Aries. Like I don't know what else to say. Like I presented my case. They're fierce protectors of their loved ones. They fly off the handle. I think that, you know, them coming together really, again, it just makes so much sense in a very basic opposites attract kind of way. But I would love, I want to spin off. I want to see them, uh, Ooh, you know, yeah. like shipped together in some like cool, I feel like they would have a cool apartment together. They would work out. I would love to see them work out together too. I Ooh. feel like that's, that's, if they had like a literal like boxing fight or something, I could see that ending in some kind of tussle where they kiss, you know? Ooh, an Aries Libra <laughs> Pilates IG Live from Shoney. Also, I love oh just thinking God. of throw, throwing your own piss as like big Aries energy, <laughs> like Lisa said. But then, but then you have Shelby's like very bless your heart. and But you can't have one without the other. You need that you know, the sweet and sour. They're just like a big sour patch kid coming together for some horny action. We love it. It's obvious. They're Aries and Libra and they're mm -hmm. meant to be. And we will absolutely hit follow when they start their I'm imagining them doing one of those you know those like couples Instagram accounts where they do like yoga things and you like balance it's like not yoga but they're just showing <laughs> off that they're a couple that works out together I will smash mm -hmm. follow immediately on that account all right this has been in the stars with what's your sign we have absolutely loved breaking down these characters. If you enjoyed this and want to see more on other characters from the wild or any of the Amazon shows, hit us up in the comments. We will not stop talking about astrology regardless. So you guys might as well enjoy it. And make sure to check out our podcast, What's Your Sign? We are a weekly comedy astrology podcast for all the lovers and the haters. Follow us on social media at What's Your Sign Podcast on Instagram and everywhere else where you get your podcast. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and find our podcast and follow us. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.
Look at this. This is what it's like working on a studio.